But I'm wishing for the best because my buddy broker at C.H. Robinson called. Said, hey man, I got a load going 50 miles for a thousand bucks if you want to take it. Uh, it's picking up right at my house and it's going to Greenwood, South Carolina. Uh, I said, sure man, but uh, I'm in Target. And he's like, oh. So we grabbed a 5 a.m. Uber load. And I waited on it all <clears throat> last night. I looked at it again this morning. I set my alarm. It was 40 miles away up Deadhead. And it was listed at, I think, 970. And then I came back this morning and it was 1345. So I said, okay. It's going back to, uh, let's look at what line we got here. Um, going to Target just outside of Columbia. So that gets me back towards the house. For 520 a mile, I said, okay. Good, nice little uh, end of the end of the work month, I guess. End of the holiday run. I just hope I'm in the right lane. I've never been here, so this says Smuckers on the uh, Raycon. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we're here about an hour early, and she said you can't check in till uh, about half an hour before your uh, appointment. I said okay, but she said you can go over here where all these other trucks are and then walk up here at 4.30. I said, okay. So we're gonna go find a place to park. And all you guys can pretty much see is Buddy right now, because I'm dark. Does that light help? There you go. Let's go park this thing. You wait till 4.30. First time, but I saw the numbers on the door, so. Okay, so 674, and then you call me when it's done or just green light? Um, my partner who's in the shipping office, Nick, that's what you just heard, uh -huh. he'll be the one to call you. He'll see the order before it even makes it to me. He just sends me the bills. Okay. But um, you open the door, slide the tandems back, of course, disconnect from the trailer, but you can stay in front of it. And then, of course, once everything's done, he'll call you. Uh, you connect it back and come down here to check out and get your paperwork. Okay, 674. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's a nice challenger. I just walked down here because I parked the truck, so <laughs> I didn't want to come all the way back and do a U-turn, so you need to know the last four of your driver's license number, and that's it, so let's go get into 674 and wait for a phone call. 674 is actually right there, and um, know your worth when it comes down to the week right before Christmas, even more because they do need things to move still, uh, like this load was pretty good on 260 miles for 13.45 and um there's another load convoy i bid on a bunch of stuff i always bid on everything bid on everything that i would be interested in taking and as you can see right here i had a notification on my phone and then i went to hit it just to see if it was still valid and this is what i got and then this is the email i got So if you're coming out here and bidding your own loads, if you're becoming an owner operator or thinking about it, it's a waiting game is what I try to teach everybody. Just waiting to see who's gonna be able to come to the right agreement with you for your time, for what you wanna do. Sometimes it's not that easy, sometimes it takes a while, sometimes you don't get anything at all, but a lot of times you just find the right one that's right for you. And we took this one to get us back home, but we could've went to Jacksonville for what, $800 more, but uh, it says a lot less deadhead to get home, so. Let's get to 374. 674, I meant. <laughs> Not 6 or 374. Get our doors open before we get in there. All right, still nice and clean. And we gained a strap. When I first came out here, I had a mentor of mine, Sammy Makes Sense, tell me, uh, hey, you uh, need to get some straps. And I was like, um... What are straps? So I bought like some straps to strap down in the back of my pickup. But these are what he's talking about. It's actually a click-in system in the back of your trailer. And the last place that was for those vitamins, they gave me one. I heard them asking other people for straps and I was waiting for them to ask me. They never did. They just gave me one. And for some reason inside of here, it smells like Christmas trees, like Christmas tree air freshener. Who knows? But yeah, sometimes you pick up a strap you don't really ever lose a strap. They'll always get, pretty much give them back to you. If they don't, just ask them for them. Okay. We'll wrap that strap up and 
get it into 374. 674. Geez, Justin. It's over there somewhere. And we are out of there. All the reviews I read on that place, Smuckers, uh, I've actually been to the Smuckers up in PA where they were producing uh, pet food, but we have dog food right now in the back, and it was only an hour and a half, and they were done. They called me and said, hey, you're good. It's okay. So we are heading to Atlanta again. I was worried about taking off, but I said, why don't we just get there and, and get our clock reset? We reset our clock last night, headed there early this morning. Uh, but Atlanta traffic so far, cross my fingers, has been so good. We're on 285 already, and we're about less than 10 miles from the 20. And then when we get to the 20, we should be okay getting out of Atlanta, heading back to the east towards Augusta, Georgia. And uh, it's 42 degrees right, right now out here. And we're gonna head to a 20, head out to Augusta, get some breakfast somewhere, and then get to Target. I, I remember Target doesn't let you really check in too early, so I think it has to be like an hour before your, your appointment time. But there is a truck stop across the street, so we'll probably just get there and kind of hang out, rest, and uh, maybe there'll be another load tonight after we get dropped off, but this Target typically takes about four hours to unload, but you never know. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be a two-hour unload. Uber Freight play, pays pretty good detention, but we, I was expecting detention at that pickup, but no, hour and a half, we're out of there. Uh, Fairburn Smuckers pet food. So, all right, let's get to the 20, get over towards Augusta. And here is the 20. It's moving pretty good. So, guys have been watching over us in the Atlanta morning traffic today. And it's a straight shot, 220 miles on the 20. Is uh, it's right off the 20. Is this truck stop, and on the other side of the highway is the uh, Target. So. Troopers just hanging out there. You see one, two on the right side, three, I think. I think there's two stacked, and then one on the left side. So they're doing checks today. 
Tuesday before Christmas. I've never seen these lights go red, but maybe they would stop you if you got the arrow to go to the right and you, you stay left. I don't know. I don't know. But there we go. We're under 100 miles to the drop. And uh, just roll to the way station, bring everybody in. Let's go. come here it is huge uh, there's speed bumps everywhere though so be careful <laughs> you might not see them at nighttime because it's pretty dark in here well that's the busiest I've ever seen it we have <laughs> four or five trucks coming out and there's probably six trucks right here going in so that makes me believe they're probably not gonna let me drop it early but uh, you never know we're gonna try and since we've come this far we really can't turn around unless we go in there Let's see what we do when we get up there well, while we wait, um, T-Dubs called me and said something showed up, can I open it? And I said, uh, is it small? Because I know I know it's coming that I sent her and I don't want her opening it. And she said, no, it's bigger than it. I think it's food. And I said, oh yeah. So our uh, buddy of mine, our, our subscriber buddy now, Jim, uh, sent me an email and said, hey man, can I send you some pumpkin bread? And I said, yeah, I love pumpkin bread. And he makes 500 loaves a year for just, I guess, family, friends, people he's become acquainted with. So let's check out these videos from T-Dubs she sent me. So this came today and I texted Justin and I was like, what is this? And it is pumpkin bread. So let me get this card open and we'll see exactly what's from. This is awesome. Thank you so much. It says Christmas is a wonderful time for everyone to rejoice and share the warmth of those dear to us. May Christmas be filled with God's love and blessing. Love always, Jim, Kelly, and Bailey. Thank you so much. This was awesome. We really appreciate it. Can't wait to try this. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, Jim, Kelly, and Bailey. I can't wait to try my loaf if there's still one left when I get home. And those candy canes, you will believe once the boys see them, they'll be going. So thank you so much for sending that. Uh, Jim's actually from Anaheim like I was uh, down in Southern California and now lives in Arizona. So pretty cool. I think you live in Prescott, uh, Jim. I don't remember, but I do believe you live north of the valley. So God bless you guys and I hope you have a great Christmas too. And let's get checked into Target. T number, okay. Safety up, safety first. There we go. 
Yes, ma'am. It's a it's a drop the trailer, correct? I know, but you drop it, and I was just wondering if they could drop it earlier. What time is the earliest you can get here? Okay, I just wonder if they had room because I can get some sleep, but it's. Thank you so much. Awesome. Should I wait till about three to check in or can I go check in also? Okay, then I can get some sleep. G51. Sounds good. Thank you. They don't, I'm not gonna tell you guys they always let you do this all the time, but if you put a smile on and be nice, then maybe it'll work. So we're gonna go drop the trailer, and that lets us just relax. It's dropped, and then whenever they get to it, hopefully before four o'clock um, or right at four, then we can just we can relax that whole six, seven hours instead of having an Arab truck come back here. That kind of thing. So hope that makes sense to you guys. Well, let's go find G51. It's actually right there, and we can come through. It's right next to that last white trailer right there, two over from the, from the uh, Schneider. I'm gonna watch out for yard jockey man here, and I'm just gonna pull straight through because there's nothing on the other side. Well, I'm gonna go further because there's only a small spot right there to pull through. But that's nice. And then uh, I've never, I've always dropped over here, kind of closer to where these bobtails are. But G51 is fine as long as we can drop it. And then you just sit here and wait. I'm gonna go back to that pilot, get some lunch, uh, and then take a little nap. I probably won't get a load for, I'm probably done for, for Christmas. Um, unless t Dubs wants to take a trip to Florida or something after Christmas, I don't know. Cause my oldest son Cash is off until the 3rd of January, which probably most of your kids are too, if you got, if you got babies in school. Um, it's new for us, it's our first year having a kid in school, so. Now you have to schedule things around that. Um, we're, let's go get into 51 over here. Go around the backside, pull straight through. Unless that yard jockey just put one right there, that'd be crazy. But a big old place here. Wonder what the drive van shortage is? All the dropping hooks, all these trailers. Empty, waiting to get someone else to bring a full one and take one of these empty ones somewhere. But that's how they do it. That's, that's the business. A lot of these big mega companies have so many trailers so that drivers can come with a loaded trailer just drop it pick up an empty trailer and go so that's what it's drop and hook is uh, it's not always like a well oiled machine uh, it's not always the tra trailers already loaded sometimes they're still waiting here uh, for it to be oh he actually did drop it right there that king of the road he got out of that thing quick but one thing I hate is like pieces of wood down there so I'm gonna jump out and make sure none of those have any nails sticking up you really don't want to take out your tires just because you were trying to pull through so Let's do that real quick before we pull over those. Ta -ta -ta. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, there's one little, that probably wouldn't, that's probably actually from inside the trailer. Everything else looks pretty decent because we're gonna drive right over it. Let's see like these two, those probably wouldn't puncture you still we don't want to take the chance of anything going through your tire all right oh there's one right there too nice little nail okay i feel good about everything else let's put her in there They're getting to them a little bit early and they'll give me a call when they're done. Uh, so she also said it takes a little while to get the dog food off. So I don't know. Either way, we're going to go to the truck stop, get some rest. Those are some cool headlights. We ate some Bojangles, got a little rest. And now we're coming back here about five o'clock. That's only one hour past our appointment time, which is probably not even going to be, the trailer's not going to be moved. But I'm wishing for the best because my buddy broker at C.H. Robinson called 
said, hey man, I got a load going 50 miles for a thousand bucks if you want to take it. Uh, it's picking up right at my house and it's going to Greenwood, South Carolina. Uh, I said, sure man, but uh, I'm at Target. And he's like, uh oh. So <clears throat> they pick up till 8 p.m. It's an hour and 40 minute drive from where I'm at. So um, we're going to see if we can get it, but I have to have my trailer back by like 6.30, which is an hour and a half from now. So in that meantime, we had some visitors at the house. <laughs> T-Dub's texted me a couple of videos. And check these out. This is Lynn and Bethany Weathers. They are awesome. Uh, they're the family that bought the APU and um, they came by today, so check them out. So um, I got a call today from one of our viewers, Lynn and Bethany, and they were gonna bring me a pie, <laughs> but uh, the pie didn't make it. And when I open the door, this is the view I get. <laughs> so this is Lynn and Bethany. And they came here to deliver a pie that she dropped. But that's all right, we're gonna try to salvage some of it. And they came with some goodies for us and the kids. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much. I'm like, I literally opened the door and about died. I love it, you guys are so awesome. Thank you, ladies. All right, they also came with gifts. What do you guys say? Yay. Yay, you say thank you? Thank you. What do you say, guys? Even Justin's got something over and look, here. Look, even Justin, look, we didn't get left out either. Ah, thanks, This guys. is for you boys to all share. Yes, and that's for us to share. And look, Justin, I told him how much you're gonna love this right here. Look at that, your no-bake cookie thingies that you love. And those, I think, what are those called? Are those called uh, Buckeyes or something? Yes. And they call them Buckeyes? I love them. I love, those are my favorite. Oh, thank you guys so much. They came all the way. And look, we saved it. Look, I'm going to put my finger up in that. <laughs> Showing that out there. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. All right. Thank you, guys. That is awesome. Such great Christmas spirit. And I cannot wait to get my hands on some of those no-bake cookies. But thank you so much for coming by today. And uh, I'm sure that pie is going to taste good no matter what. And I also saw some cool tires out front, which means we can get a ch tires changed on the Cobra, get that ready to go after uh, the new year. Uh, and I'm also searching a couple of uh, 6.0s right now, LQ4s, LQ9s. I think that's the route I'm going to go for a naturally aspirated motor in that uh, red truck that I have right now. So I'm starting to price out those and trying to find them locally. The prices have gone up. They used to be $758,000 or $1,500, 2000 now. So that's me talking motor talk. But right now we're going to check in. If it doesn't work out for uh, getting out of here quick enough to get up there to get that load, I don't want to rush it too bad. I'm just going to call my broker buddy and say, hey man, can't do it, but I don't I don't think they'll be able to get anybody else to cover it probably tonight. I don't know. So I'll say, can I just go grab it in the morning, you know? Can I just get it first thing in the morning and drive it straight through? Because it's going straight through 24-7 facility down there in Greenwood to drop it off. So it's, we'll see what they say. But um, right now, let's go back and see what our trailer's doing. It is only 5.20 at night and it's getting dark already. Good old winter time. Now our trailer should definitely be gone from uh, G51, which it is, which is right there next to that Target trailer. So she's gone from there. Uh, where would she, will she, when will she be back? That's the question, so. You can go in there and kind of check sometimes, but I don't want to pester them. They're doing as quick as they can. I have about 45 minutes till like no go zone or not making it to the pickup. So I'm gonna text my broker buddy that and just see if I can do it in the morning. If not, it wasn't meant to be, but that was a nice little uh, end the uh, end the, the week before Christmas. 50 mile run for a thousand bucks would've been cool, but we'll see if we can do it. Do it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mosey around and kind of look for where my trailer's at. Um, just be wary of the yard jockeys don't get in their way. They're doing their job. This way, the three, four, I'm going back on down there. Uh, they, uh, somebody come out and let me know when they got it off of there or why this way. I'd come back in here on the Okay. All uh, right, you said by an by the hour? They had no, no idea how long they've been working on it, nothing like that. They've still got about a thousand cartons. Okay. Probably a couple of hours. Probably a while. All right, thank you. Well, it looks like that's not going to happen, so a thousand cartons left, but it's only 5.30 and there was a four o'clock appointment, so 
we were trying to shoot for the moon on that one, but texted my broker and he said, all right, let me look into it, see if they can get it tomorrow. But if they can't, no worries. It would have been nice, but maybe it's vacation time. But on that note, God bless you guys. I'm going to get back next to the U.S. Express trucks, three, three U.S. Express trucks and me. That's it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. That was so awesome if you guys would bring us uh, the pie and those presents today. That was beautiful. And the tires showed up, so we'll get those put on. And I'm looking to buy an LY6 right now out of Kentucky of all places. So we'll start working on a cam package for a 6.0. Drop it in that red truck. God bless you. See you tomorrow.